to another link or photo link video. Uh, this one is going to be on um, generating your images for PhotoNot 3 using either uh, taking images, um, uh, your raw processor, be that either uh, raw therapy or uh, the raw, raw processor that came with your camera, um, or using GIMP from a single image, uh, generating two images or three images that can be used to generate a, uh, uh, an HDR. Uh, first of all, uh, if you're taking the images manually with a camera, what you'll want to do, and that, that does give the best results, what you'll want to do is take, um, like let's say, uh, three or more images, uh, each uh, two EVs um, apart. Um, so you'll want to take a normal image, and then if you want to take another image, uh, which is two EVs below, uh, what you'll want to do is uh, just really, if you're shooting a 60th of a second on your normal, a uh, 120th of a second would take you to, uh, uh, that would be uh, one, uh, well actually if you're shooting a 60th of a second and you want to overexpose, uh, a, a, an overexposed image of one EV would be a 30th and of two uh, EVs over it would be at a 15th and uh, correspondingly uh, the negative uh, EVs uh, one EV below would be a uh, uh, if you're a 60th that would be a 120th and then uh, a 250th for a negative uh, uh, two EVs. Uh, what you can also do uh, the second best method is to shoot uh, camera raw uh, additionally, if you're shooting uh, uh, RAW files for your uh, HDRs, it's best to shoot um, as, or I mean, if you're shooting manually, it's best to shoot with RAW files uh, because you can modify those RAWs in the uh, in the uh, uh, RAW processor to gain even more images and uh, do all kinds of great tricks. But here we're in the RAW processor for the Sony. Um, I'm using a Sony camera and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, first of all I'm going to come up to my brightness uh, and then I'm going to just come over to this box and I would save this as my normal image as a 16-bit TIF. Uh, then what I'll do here is I'll add one uh, EV to it and then save that as my oops. I'm kind of losing control here. I'll add one EV to it. I will save that as my O1 and uh, we'll add another EV to it and we'll save that as my O2 and then I'll reset it and then I can come over to here and put a negative one and I will save that as my one uh, negative UV and I will put a two here negative 2 and save that as my negative 2 EVs. I found the best convention to mark these is as uh, save your normal uh, as N, uh, your over uh, 1 EV <coughs> as O1 and your over 2 uh, EV as being uh, O2 and correspondingly your underexposed 1 EV would be U1 and your underexposed uh, two EVs would be uh, uh, negative two. What we can also do is take our image into GIMP and uh, I found that using the brightness control doesn't work as well in GIMP. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here in curves and for my first um, uh, overexposed I'm going to grab this line right in the middle and drag it up about halfway and then I'll say OK, and I'll save that as my O1. Then I'll come back into Colors and Curves, and then I'll drag this up again about halfway, and I'll say OK, and that will be my O2. Now what I can do here is I can undo my curves and undo my curves. Uh, now I can come over to here to my Colors again, and to go the other direction, 
I can uh, drag it down about halfway and that is my uh, U1 which is uh, underexposed by 1 and then uh, what I can also do is I will edit undo the curves my colors and I can drag see if you want to do it you start from the point you've got to go twice as far so basically we'll go about there and that would be my uh, U2 so remember you're generating um, several files off of your first file and what you do is you uh, generate them um, you generate them correspondingly now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my picture not three then when I remember I told you before you can click this unit or that icon and I come over to here select your images which we will have as N for our normal O1 O2 U1 U2 and we'll open them now we have to set up our, our BIOS or our BIOS which indicates approximately what the difference in exposure is. So for my U2, I'm going to go negative 2. Uh, for my O1, I'm going to say it's 1. For my O2, I'm going to go 2. And for my U1, I'm going to go minus 1. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, come over here to my curve. Instead of trying to compute it, uh, it's kind of best either to do a standard curve or a linear. I'd say linear is probably better. And then I'm going to, uh, you know, just leave everything else unchecked. We're going to cover that in the next video. And what this is going to do is it's showing us, number one, that we've got a four um, uh, EV um, spread. EV, by the way, stands for exposure value. Um, so now what it's doing is it's combining those images at this point. It's building our HDR from the images that we have built either from GIMP or from our raw processor like uh, uh, raw therapy or whatever and this will work with all the uh, the image types. It's best to save them as a 16-bit uh, to come into this program. Now it's combining the images. This just takes a minute. Now it's writing the image file. And there is our um, HDR. So what I'm going to do is view actual resolution. No, not actual resolution. Excuse me. Fit image to view. Now if you'll notice, it's picked up down here our detail in the shadows and uh, you know, our highlights. The images look flat. That's because uh, that's what HDR images are before they're tone mapped. So if your image kind of looks a little bit degraded when you run your HDR. Don't be surprised. That's what it's supposed to do. Uh, if you'd like to work on images, uh, that you would save this as an HDR and then do your uh, tone mapping. We'll do that in the uh, next video. Uh, if you'd like to work on your images, please email them to me at joeg um, at photolink.com. That's uh, joeg at f-o-t-o-l-i-n-q dot com. Or go to my site um, www.photolink.com that's F-O-T-O-L-I-N-Q uh, for more videos and have a good day and we will get right into uh, the next image thank you or the next process in the uh, uh, in the uh, uh, working with Photonap 3 again thank you